Okay, when we get a new recruit, uh, basically we have a common and space training system. And uh, before they're actually allowed to go in the boat, they must do two units. One unit is PPE, uh, wearing their life jackets, gear, boots, etc. And also a walk through around the boat. They must accomplish a walk through in the boat and be assessed those two units. After that, then they're eligible to go out in the boat to do training. Uh, which would last uh, for approximately one year. They're on probation for one year. Uh, during that time, they would do various, various tasks on the boat and be assessed, uh, being competent. We also have courses we run on pool where we do uh, firefighting, sea survival, uh, and various boat handling courses at pool. Right, uh, Rail, I was previously a coxswain, however, uh, too many birthdays caught up with me. Uh, and I'm now the Lightboard Operations Manager. Um, during my time as Cox, we had a, a couple of shouts that comes to mind. Um, we had Wandy Rathlin, um, who was blown in 80, 80 mile an hour wind at the time. Uh, a guy had been out in a shooting expedition and got shot in the back of the head with a shotgun. And uh, the helicopter that day too, couldn't get wound up because of the wind. Um, the blades were hovering about, uh, so we were launched. and. Uh, it was quite a horrendous trip. Uh, at one time the boat heeled over and the water came up around the windows. <laughs> uh, we did get into Rathlin and got casualties aboard and uh, uh, taken to Ballet Castle. Uh, but during the route to Ballet Castle, um, they only thought they were in shot. They were violently sick in the peril. So uh, that one stands out to mind. Um, another one, which was my first shoot as coxswain, was, uh, was two adults and two children in a boat. Uh, off the causeway and they have broken down and the wind had picked up an oar west one and we got a heavy swell and uh, they had an anchor in the boat but they had no chain in the anchor and they had a bit of 10 foot of rope so the anchor was virtually useless. They were getting washed onto the rocks, they had no life jackets or nothing in the boat and I always classed that as my one of my best shirts, it's actually saving lives because if we had been there five minutes later they were on the rocks, nowhere to go, they'd have been pounded. <laughs>